there are a number of ways that you could potentially um, prevent these memories from reconsolidating and being restored within the brain. And we've looked at a number of different um, ways of, of achieving that. Um, we've spent a lot of time looking at drugs that target a receptor known as the NMDA receptor, which is uh, the drug target of drugs like ketamine. Um, which has had a lot of interest recently as a novel antidepressant, um, so it can be used in humans. Um, we've looked at behavioural therapies, and we have also looked at this um, the possibility of using beta-adrenergic receptor antagonists um, like propranolol, which are widely used as blood pressure medication. This largely came from studies on fear memory um, because there was a study fairly early on in the fields of back in 2004 that showed that giving propranolol to rats that were undergoing reconsolidation of a fear memory led to a long-term reduction in fear in those animals. So the fact that propranolol is so widely used in humans, it's very readily translatable to the human situation, um, made us very interested as to whether propranolol would have the same effect in our rodent models of cocaine use. Um, and so we found that on certain measures of relapse, that propranolol was effective in reducing those measures um, for at least a month after a single uh, treatment session. Now, obviously, a month doesn't sound like a very long time, but bear in mind that we're dealing with rodents here. So we're talking about a lifespan of two to three years. So a month in those terms is quite a long period of time. Um, and since then, we've also looked at rodent models of alcohol use as well. Um, and we've seen very similar effects there that propranolol can reduce the um, relapse-like behaviour that's being elicited by these drug-associated cues um, for at least a month after that single treatment session.